Hi everyone. So, in this video, I wanted to talk a little about the StarTech PEX HD Cap capture card. Now, for those select few of you who subscribe to me on YouTube, all about five or six of you, you've probably seen a few test captures going on that I've made using this card. So, what I'm going to show you here is basically what we've discussed over in the Schmups forum and it's a way to get started using the card be it for just recording or archiving your own gameplay or for whatever reason or taking recordings and preparing them for YouTube so I've already installed the card on this computer I'm not going to bother showing you how to do that and let's take a look at a picture of the card here this is the card itself so we can see three inputs you've got a DVI I here which is both analog and digital then there's HDMI here obviously digital only then there's this breakout connector here that will accept component video and will also accept analog audio so far so simple to connect a SCART cable to the card you'd use a DVI to VGA adapter plugged into here and there's one of those in the box and then you'd use our old friend the sync strike and here's a picture of the sync strike and what this does is accepts a SCART connection here and provides you with a 15 pin RGBHV output here in a VGA style connector as well as two analog audio so that would go to the DVI-I slot and that would go into the breakout cable to provide the audio OK, so there are two sets of drivers you can use with this card. There's ones from StarTech or the ones from MyComSoft, who sell this card as the SC500N1. Now I strongly recommend using the StarTech drivers since the MyComSoft ones don't let you tweak brightness and contrast. However, the recording program that MyComSoft have developed is much more suited for capturing video games. So, I'd grab that program and then use it in conjunction with the StarTech drivers. On my setup, I found it necessary to tweak the brightness down a couple of notches just to hide some video noise that some of the consoles had. But of course, your mileage may vary. So, you can get the MyComSoft drivers from this page, and I'll show you the link to that somehow and StarTech drivers you can get here is this mstar.zip program that you just download and install right so I'm not going to go through installing the drivers but um, with the MyComSoft drivers you get this basic package called VideoKeeper I'll just load that now now this isn't a bad little program to be honest if you want to just do basic captures it's pretty okay and it's very easy to use you just load it up and you can see already we've got the Sega Saturn running on there to select a source you just right click and choose video source so obviously for RGB it's DVIA RGB and that's about it it's detected the 240p signal correctly and set the screen to the right size and that's the nice thing about this program it detects things automatically uh, there's only really a couple of options you can obviously set the aspect ratio you can take a snapshot that's a screenshot in bitmap or JPEG and you can set the recording directory oops sorry that's there by choosing record path and set that any way you want so I'll make just a short test recording to demonstrate so now right click and choose record and then on and I'm only going to record just for a couple of seconds just to show you it's quite a good little example there and then to stop recording just choose off and that's it now if I open up the recording directory which I've handily got here I can double click this capture and there we have it, it's playing in Zoom Player 
So what you end up with is this uh, H264 encoded file. Now that's not really a bad thing. Um, H264 codec is a lossy codec, but it has good compression and generally good quality for a lossy codec. Videos that you record with this Video Keeper program are also automatically line doubled. So if you capture a 240p source, it gets line doubled to 720 by 480, which is a more suitable format for sharing the videos online, especially places like YouTube. So that might be all you really need for recording your video games. Um, but if you do want a little more control over things, you might want to check out um, a program called Amarec. And we'll look at Amarek in the next video.